Okay, in this video I'm going to continue on with my tutorials on quantum statistics. This is number 23 and this is sub video 5 on density of states. I'm going to discuss the velocity space. I also have a website now, universityphysicstutorials.com. So in the last few videos I've been looking at vector and scalar space, or density of states, and I've just been getting the particular expressions. So this is going to be pretty short and it's going to get the velocity space. It's direct continuation from density of states number 4. So down here I've got the density of states in vector momentum space and scalar momentum space. Now how do we go from momentum to velocity? Well it's pretty straightforward because we know that P is equal to mass times velocity. P is equal to mv. So dP is equal to del P del V dV or there. So we see that anywhere we have a P we, anywhere we have a P, we just put in MV. Anywhere we have a, P, a DP, we put in an M, MDB. It's pretty straightforward. Okay, so if you get those and we plug them in, we get the following expression. So in vectors, so I'm going to do it in blue, in fact. So G sub S is equal to V M cubed twice pi h bar cubed and we have dv sub x, dv sub y, dv sub z. So that is the density of states in vector velocity space. So in order to get it in energy space or in, in excuse me, scalar space then we do the same thing over here and we get g sub s is equal to 4 pi v m cubed divided by 2 pi h bar to be cubed v squared dv all right and finally actually no i'm going to i'm going to do a separate video for the energy just so i can everybody can find these pretty straightforward okay so thanks for watching please pass it on to your friends subscribe to my channel and you might also have a look at my website thank you